And good morning. So for those of you who follow me, you know that I was just filming in Atlanta on Devious Maids and I ended up giving some relationship advice to one of the actresses. It wasn't my relationship advice, it was given to me by one of my great friends back in Alabama, Jason Smith. And Jason, I've lived by this since you gave it to me like 10 years ago, however long, and it's worked amazing. So to everyone else, I will share it with you now, and I hope it helps someone else pay it forward. One of the common mistakes that we make in relationships is, in Jason's words, thinking about forever. We think about our forever with somebody. Plan the future. Let's start dating, you know, four months down the road, okay, are we gonna have kids? Are we, you know, we start thinking about all these things. Stop, stop doing that. He told me to enjoy the relationship for what it was. Cause I went in there with a relationship problem and I was venting to him and he's told me, baby, you just gotta, you just gotta stop thinking about you forever with this guy. You gotta like just think about now and enjoy today. And if today works out, that's great. And if today turns into tomorrow, turns into next day, turns into forever, that's awesome. And if it doesn't, at least then you haven't let down so many walls and invested so much of your mental energy that you will walk away crying. That's what he said. And it's true. I went into this relationship, the same thought. I went into my last one, the same thought. And now in this relationship, I would walk away crying. But in the last one, I just got on my plane and left. Like I was good, you know? And it's good to go into like, you know, just think about the small things. Think about today. Think about now. Like, is today going to be good? Are we going to have sex tonight? Is it going to be good sex? What are you going to do for me? What am I, what can I do for you? Are we going to go to dinner tomorrow? But don't think about the next day. Don't think about the next day. Stop planning your wedding when you only know the person for eight months, you know, because you could tentatively be setting yourself up for some major heartbreak if you start letting your walls down that fast. And that was just the best. That was what I told this actress. And instantly she just let out this big sigh of relief. And she, she was, I could tell that she was glad to have gotten that advice. And it was cool. It was real cool. So I hope that advice helps at least one person. Um, but if not, okay, that's fine too. Anyway, have a good day.